My name is Debbie, and uh, I'm from the Napa's Valley First Nation. This is uh, the Napa's Valley First Nation school that we're at. I first came here um, about six years ago when they first started to do tutoring and adult ed. And then in September, it switched over, and now we have a, a school that goes on. Oh, well, they have um, high school. They do the GED program. Um, they facilitate and help out students that are in post-secondary education to, um, to give them some uh, guidance through the, the curriculum that they have, like a homework or essay writing or um, tutoring and um, the homework, or they provide uh, assistance with the uh, Test, testing, um, verbal testing, um, exams. It had a great impact on me so far. Um, I've been at Acadia for a few years now, and uh, with uh, their help, I probably wouldn't be success successful as I am with with the with the help of them because uh, the teachers here they have modified that. I get my test and quiz and uh, exams um, writ read to me, and uh, they they write down my answers, and uh, so it's done verbally. The teachers are dedicated. They they put in a lot of hours. They put in a lot of love, because if if it wasn't here, some of our students that are not successful in the academic or the outside schooling, um, they probably wouldn't have the ability to get their grade 12. Because um, we have some students that suffer from mental illness to depression to anxiety issues. Uh, some students aren't able to focus um, they need a little bit more support. So to have that support here, um, they're more successful than sitting in a big classroom. Um, well, the program here, the, the school has been set since September. Um, hopefully it's gonna keep going. We have a few, uh, three students that are in the grade 12, I think grade 11 or 12 program. So they'll be graduating their high school from here soon hopefully by June. I'd like to see more teachers. Um, I'd like to see all the younger kids have the ability, if if they're not able to do the program successfully outside of this reserve, I would like to see them be able to come here and be successful. Um, there's nothing better than an education and especially being indigenous. Um, back in the olden days, a lot of the our elders never got a proper education. So for me to see the little ones and younger kids to succeed in their grade 12 or post-secondary, it's very important. I don't think a lot of people know about it. Um, so far, it's been a lot about through mouth. Um, I've been wondering the same thing. Um, how do we advertise more? It definitely needs to be advertised more so people can know that what is here, what is offered, and who can come. I like to see more involvement in the community that could come here. Um, I know we have very selective uh, elders that are in the community, so but to see more involvement from the uh, elders would be lovely. Mm -hmm. So they can give back to the little kids and pass maybe something on that we wouldn't know from somebody that's an outsider or a younger. Well, a lot of us in Didish, uh, we we learn hands-on more than from a book. Um, myself, for one, I learn better from hands-on or being in a in a um, lecture, I un I I understand that more. 
um, then you you give me a book and I have to know the material. So I think having that hands on is is much simpler for us, and I like to see the people that learn like I do um, be able to come here and experience that. A bigger school, more teachers, um, maybe some of our indigenous um, community members getting involved in some way.